What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's video we're going to be doing something interesting when it comes to presentation in Revit and I'm going to be showing you how to create a split house diagram. So that's this diagram that you can see over here. And now what does that mean? A split house diagram it's similar to a 3D floor plan so it's uh, basically showing your uh, house plan in 3D uh, but instead of having just like a cut off uh, 3D floor plan it shows a view where kind of the top of the house has been cut and then it's kind of pulled out uh, I think it's a it's a cool view to have I think it looks uh, interesting so I thought why not explore how something like this is possible in Revit because it's not as simple as creating a section box it does have a few extra steps tips and tricks so that's what we're going to be covering today uh, now before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this video it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm it helps promote the video to other people that might want to see it also make sure to subscribe because I make useful Revit tutorials each week I make multiple tutorials and then also I make some courses now all of those courses are available on my website balkanarctic.com that's the first link just below the video uh, there I have over a hundred hours of content where I take the extra time to go slowly step by step and explore uh, all of Revit's advanced uh, features and tools and show you the appropriate workflow for all of those so if you're interested check it out. Also if you want my project files like the file that we're creating today that's available on my Patreon and that's the second link just below the video in the description so check it out if you're interested. Okay without any further ado let's get straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So this is the project that I'm going to be using for this demonstration. This is my single family home in Revit project. Uh, if you want to see the entire project, how I created, how I produce all of this uh, project documentation, very detailed plans, uh, you can find that all in the course, which is on my website, balkanarctic.com. As I mentioned, that's the first link in the description. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's now take a look at how can we uh, create our split uh, building a 3D perspective diagram. Uh, so here we have like an exploded view, which is quite cool and useful, but uh, unfortunately it tells a different story. This tells the story of construction, but for this we want to show kind of the inside of the building. We want to show the floor plan in a 3D view because it's, well, it's a lot easier to comp comprehend the uh, building design that way or the floor plan design that way. Okay, so for that, first we have to create a 3D view. So let's go here into the site plan, for example. There we go, we have the site plan. And for this, I'm just going to go into the properties, scroll down until I find my crop view, and just uncheck that crop view because I want to have a little bit extra space uh, to place my camera. So let's go here to the default 3D view, go to the camera and feel free to place it a little bit further away, something like this, and then create your view. Click again and there we go, this is what we have. Uh, now I'm going to select the tree that's kind of far, farthest away and then create a view that looks perhaps like this. That looks nice. Perhaps expand this a little bit and let's go to the full navigation wheel and we can Either zoom out, yeah, we can zoom out a little bit, perhaps like that, and then perhaps look up a little bit. Perfect. Also, one thing that I like to do is apply a section box uh, initially just to kind of crop the view a little bit uh, on the beginning. So let's go here to the properties panel for this view. And uh, for the view properties, when you select something here in the properties, it shows, well, for example, a tree. But if you don't select anything, the view properties will show you your, or the properties will show you your view properties. So I can find the section box here and then check that. Here's the section box. So we have to bring this in a little bit. This one as well. That's a little bit too close. There we go. This one here. There we go, and then this one in there. Perfect. Perhaps expand this just to kind of capture the whole thing. And there we go. I think this looks really, really good at this point. Uh, and then for the top of the section box, I'm just going to leave it like this, kind of high. Okay, so we have our 3D view created. It looks fairly good for now. And now it's time to split this into a couple of views. So because this is going to be that split 
a diagram split 3d view uh, we're splitting the building in half we're going to achieve that by uh, obviously creating a couple of views so faking it so to speak because Revit unfortunately doesn't allow us to split 3d views okay then uh, let's go here into the 3d views scroll down a little bit go to the 3d view 2 right click and then go into rename so I'm just going to rename this one uh, 3d view dash top hit enter then I'm going to right click again uh, go into duplicate view duplicate that right click again on the new one rename and this one will be yeah you guessed it bottom perfect okay so for the bottom one what you want to do is you want to select your section box and then bring it down uh, now when you bring it down what they like to do is as I bring it down I like to take a look at the elements here so for example here you see the door and I want my cutoff point to be at the bottom part of this second I don't know like a rectangle on the door I, I just like to have kind of a marker in 3d space for this so bring it down Oops, I don't know which... Okay, I think I've almost moved something. So again, okay, so this is now up to first, and then that's up to second. Okay, there we go. That's the bottom of the second one. We can go just a little bit down, but make sure not to mess it up. Okay, I went too much. And now everything's broken. There we go. Okay, perfect. Uh, so once we have this bottom view created, uh, you can turn on the shadows if you want. Uh, now the downside of using shadows is it can be a little bit, uh, it can have kind of a wrong effect because it's not going to drop the shadow of the top part. But if you want, you can keep the shadows. You can also go here to graphic display options. Perhaps the ambient shadows are going to work a little bit better for this one. And one additional thing for this car family that we have here, you see that because of the section box, it looks like a, you know, the, the roof is missing. It's been cut off. So uh, just because I don't want it to look kind of weird, I'm going to select that uh, BMW and just go ahead and hide that family. Perfect. Okay, so once we have created the bottom view, let's then go to the top view. And then here for the top view, I'm going to use the displace elements feature. So, you know, here on the modify tab, we have that displace elements, which allows us to displace elements. <laughs> well, we want to displace the entire house all the way up. So let me show you. Okay, so you select the entire house and then you go to displace elements, you click. And then you bring it up and you bring it up far enough like that you see you want to clear the, kind of the footprint of the house so I'm just going to bring it all the way up to this point there we go looks perfect and now we can select the section box and we can cut this oops let's see what's going on up to that same point so as you can see it's kind of cutting at the bottom and it shows up here so it's all weird but don't worry about it uh, the, the, the point is just to get it to a right place uh, now again I want to measure by the door but I cannot see the door so I'm just going to turn on the wireframe temporarily so I can see that door okay there is the door see there that's the bottom uh, rectangle so we have to go up a little bit let's find a little st there yeah, that's it. There we go. So it's at cutting at the same place, just from the bottom. Okay, uh, go to just a shaded view. You can turn on the shadows, but as you can see, it can look a little bit weird. So let's keep them turned on for now, and then we might change it in the future. And then also here uh, for the graphic display options, uh, just go to shadows and then turn on the ambient shadows. Hit apply. Okay, perfect. Uh, next step is to make this all look nicer. And the first step is to select the section box, go to hide and hide that element. Same thing goes for the bottom, select the section box, hide, hide. And finally, uh, go to the view properties and go to the crop region visible. And here you just want to uncheck that. So you know ugly frame here. Same thing goes for the top. There we go. Okay, now it's time to assemble our view. Now, the only way to assemble this view is to create a new sheet. It's just not going to appear or allow us to assemble it <laughs> any different way. So for that, let's go here to the project browser and then uh, find, let's see, sheets, right click, new sheet, 
and then we can use the A2 metric that's more than enough click OK and now go to your views so go to 3d views let's start off with the bottom on the bottom and place it here uh, one thing that they don't like is this line here and especially when we place the second view on top of that it's going to look terrible so just select this and go to no title perfect then go to the top drag it over and then try to place it now in some cases it is going to snap to the correct position uh, and if it doesn't I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do to kind of snap it in place but this looks fairly good so we can just leave it like that select this go to no title and that's okay now you can see that here it is dropping the shadow and I don't know it looks okay to me if you don't like that you can always turn the shadows off for now this looks fairly good now to see if the positioning is right what they like to do is go here to the annotate tab go to detail lines and then uh, search for something like the hidden line and then you want to go here from the bottom and make sure your thin lines are turned off you zoom in really really in and then you click on this point you zoom out really really far and then you click on this point here zoom in zoom in zoom in click and then you should see that if it's following this line properly that means that the position of this thing is correct uh, now you should be able to change this uh, the position of this top element if it's I don't know perhaps you feel it's like too far away you can always go here to the top element select this and then bring it down yeah there we go like that and as you can see it doesn't get cut because the section box was box was cutting there kind of the original position which is really cool it kind of saves you time and now if I go back to our sheet as you can see now it's a little bit closer and I can even go closer I think it's going to work even like this okay this might be a bit too close you don't want to push it yeah I think this is the correct one and then you want to just of reassemble these dashed lines that are kind of showing the positioning so there we go we have one there we can place one here so again detail line hidden line style and then you go from the point here now once you've determined that the positioning is correct you don't really have to worry too much about the uh, about the position if it's like a hundred percent perfect because it's not going to matter at this scale there we go then again detail line uh, hidden line and then we can go perhaps from here up to here there we go that looks nice oops and perhaps you can have one for this line here so again detail line go from this corner here all the way to this corner here the escape key a couple of times there we go that looks perfect so this is a very very nice uh, split 3d view I think it looks really cool it's like we've split the house in half and then we have both halves and it's also perspective yeah you can do this in orthogonal views and or orthographic views and it's going to look really good as well but I think that the kind of the 3d perspective view really makes everything pop and everything looks a lot better so there you go this is how you create these views it's not that complicated and I think that the end result is really powerful you can see the inside of the house it's it kind of shows everything uh, but it's also fun and I think that this can be a lot more understanding for your client instead of showing them something like this because they're definitely not going to understand what the heck is going on so there you go that's how you create these cool split 3d views in Revit I, I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial if you want the entire course on how to create this building and produce all of this uh, complex documentation you can find that on my website balkanarctic.com that's going to be the first link in the description I have many different courses uh, ranging from beginner courses up to advanced courses so make sure to check it out if you're interested if you want the project files uh, they are included obviously in the courses but also you can get them uh, separately just by going to my patreon page which is going to be the second link in the description okay so that concludes this tutorial make sure to like and share make sure to subscribe uh, leave co any comments if you have and i'll see you in a couple of days thank you for watching and have a nice day